नाम रूप जट्टा दे सुखित तनान प्रमेन रचना मनुष्य दिया तीस्थन बजे तदान रावी जनान कामु कालम नयेद अखिलाम किस्तु देश दिस इज़ द समय सबको एंड एसेंस ऑफ़ ऑल द टेंस ऑफ़ सी चैतन्य महाप्रभु एंड शिलरूप बुश पर बात है Activities for the pleasure of Krishna. And how we can approach this? We are first told that we have not come only to be in the Kanishta Dika or always. We should try to develop our Krishna. What we were doing? For 25 years before, same thing now, same mood. We should not stop in the same. We have to develop our Krishna consciousness. For this, he is telling. At first, when, when we, we came and joined, we are chanting Hari Nair. And even today we are chanting. But not same thing. Like geometry first and for PhD. Let A, B, C be a triangle. That first and the last in PhD classes, A, B, C, we are not same thing. So, when we were chanting first, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. And now, after 20 years, same thing. Our chanting will be so much developed. Our mood will be developed. How we can develop? This is a little push on the has told. Seven slopes. Now he is coming internally. Sannamu. You should read the translation first. Then. The essence of all advice is that one should utilize one's full time, 24 hours a day, in nicely chanting and remembering the Lord's divine name, transcendental form, qualities, and eternal pastimes. Why? 24 hours, why? <coughs> why 24 hours? You have to do something for life maintaining. You have to take some sleep. You have to do for our families. Our children, why do you think? How you can reconcile all these things? You'll have to wait. 
this is the difference between first chanting Hare Krishna and now this chanting. He will explain further in his purpose that how many we can do. It is possible. But for not the persons to whom it is very hard to chant six, ten rounds. He told that I am giving some concession <coughs> because Western, Western devotees cannot do it. Always they are engaged in that. For them, he is telling that six, ten are not all. Not all. Advanced devotees, for them, he is telling. What he is telling? 24 hours a day. Then, now senior devotees return. How it can? Then, oh, this is the idea of Narayan Maharaj. Not our Swamiji. He never told. For this, I am telling you all these things. Swamiji has told more than me, very strongly. One day you will have to come to this stage. Otherwise, your love and affection for our Krishna will let this go. One day you <coughs> For new fault, he has new five devotees, he has told that, oh, you should begin from two, three, four, five, six, or six. But when he advance, he will give up, he should give up all the worldly attachments. No worldly anything desire. Then he may can advance. Otherwise, how he can advance? So he is telling how to do this. See? Then, first time, thereby? Gradually engaging one's tongue and mind. In this way, one should reside in Braj. Oh, then he is telling that you should give up all these places and come to Braj. How it is? It is possible. How possible? Or it will be possible. If you have no desire, nothing, then you will be pure devotee. Then nothing to be here or anywhere. Only to be. But those who are not uh, qualified to be in Bhagavad anyhow, they should leave my mind also. This is conversation. But after some days you will have to go there in Praja. And get them for all these worldly Praja also, you will have to go where? Below Vrindavan. He has written in bracket, one should reside in Praja. Golok Vrindavan. For Sadak it is absurd to be below go in Golok Vrindavan. <coughs> Understand this? Mm -hmm. The other cannot go to Golok Vrindavan. After liberation, after Prem, anyone can go to that. But the, his object is to go there. So he has written in bracket that object is to go there. But in Sadhana Vastha, will, will never be in Golok Vrindavan. Tell that how? Oh, our Guru Maharaj has written like this Golok Vrindavan in sadhana avastha, this is for sadhana avastha. This is slok is for sadhana. Sadhana, you know? In the stage of bondage. How he can be Golobindavan? So Swamiji has written false. Now you will have to reconcile. Reconcile on this. He has left something to reconcile. Otherwise, he he will tell that, oh, he has written Golok Vrindavan. So, we will have to be Golok Vrindavan Dham in the stage of bondage. Mm -hmm. How it is possible? So, you will have to use our intelligence also. And that intelligence will come in the association, association of very, very Otherwise, you will be always confused and so many doubts will come to reconcile this. Anyone cannot reconcile all these things. Those who are not so developed and realized, yes. Then again, in this way, this way, one should reside 
in Braj, Goloka Vrindavan, <coughs> and serve Krishna under the guidance of devotees. What is the dif difference between devotee and associates? Can you tell? Parsha, Parika, and devotee. Anyone? Yes. Eternal, he is liberated. Who? Associates that are called Parika. They are not devotee. They are not sadhar. Where devotee is used, you should always consider it that he is like sadhar. How a sadhar can be in uh, eternal dham, Kulu Vrindavan? After liberation, after having prayed, then Jogmaya will take him for eternal. Yeah. Otherwise, no. Devotees cannot go there. When they will go? When they will attend Krishna praying. Shne, Man, Prane, Rag, Anurag, Vish. After that, otherwise, no. Only serving cows, only Distributing books, not going deeply in them and doing all these activities, <coughs> only making life members and all these things. It will make some impressions. That is Sukriti. It is for Sukriti. These are not actual pure devotion. But what he is telling it is pure devotion here will have to come one day in this platform. And then we can attend Krishna. Otherwise, never, never. Lacks and lacks. First time, uh, bus. We can Then we, we are bound to do some uh, some offenses. He is telling that whole time, 24 hours we should do chant and remember. You should not follow him. I went once in my any uh, mud in India and I was expressing all these things. All became happy. But after that, mud co commander or superintendent he called all the devotees and told them, Narayan, Narayan, tell him, don't follow him. You should serve cows. You should go there, there, and make big chat and do all these things. Chant only, only 16 hours. Don't do more than that. And if you are following Narayan, Narayan, then you will be you cannot live, you cannot maintain your life, and thus everything. All the boys come to me and told that I am then so much superintendent telling me. <laughs> <laughs> so one should follow? One should follow in the footsteps of the Lord's beloved devotees who are deeply attached to his devotional service. Now we are coming to that. <coughs> yeah, tell here. In translation, very, very little. Now please. Go on. Since the mind may be one's enemy or one's friend, one has to train the mind to become his friend. The Krishna consciousness... Uh, Manaye Manishyanam Karana Bandhana Mokshay. Manaye Eva Karana. Mind is cause of bondage and liberation. He is our enemy and he is our friend. So you should try to train mind at first. If your mind is not in friendly terms, his enemy. And if you at that time follow mine, then you will go to heaven. In 
state of bondage will then help not to take shelter of mind and to take any advice from that mind. What to do? Follow Rupusha. Raghunath Das Pusha. Guru De, all the disciplic Acharas. Not to follow mind, what mind is telling? Have a whip huh? and control mind by that whip daily ten times. Take a broom, 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 and give on the back of mind ten times daily. Then he will miss. Otherwise, you know, the tells of dogs. Like this, always. If you will take one hundred pipas of ghee and rub it and make straight. Again, okay? if you will give up, it will be. So mind is like this. So always weeping, weeping. By taking the shelter of any realized Rashi Tattva Gavaisna, maybe like this. Otherwise, no. So, mind is like that. You will have to be very careful. If your mind has become your friend, then very easy to remember the past times of Krishna. So, he is telling that Swami Farooq Bhushan. That first of all we will have train, then all your bodily activities, senses, will follow this. The Krishna consciousness movement is especially meant for training the mind to be always engaged in Krishna's no. business. That is how Jiva Goswami established this. Krishna consciousness established by Jiva Goswami. Vishnu Vaishnava Raja Sabha. And all our acharyas are member of this. Sometimes, Rupa Goswami, Jiva Goswami was president. After that, Rabhunath Das Goswami became president. After that, Krishna Das Raj, Kabiraj was president. After that, Vishnu, Shyamananda Prabhu, Narottam Thakur, Srini Vasa Acharya. And after that, Vishnu Nath Chakvarti, very famous president of this Vishnu Vaishnava Rasabha, that is Krishna consciousness. No? After, that, after some time, Bhaladev became oh, very powerful <laughs> president. And after that, there came a very deep Andhakar you. But after that, Bhakti Vinod, very prominent, and Shattam Goswami became the president, and he preached. And after that, he preached all of her world by his arms, like Swami here and there. In very short time, his one hand preached over the whole world. Swami Ji was the very greatest, one of the teachers and president of this Krishna consciousness, especially that Vishnu Vaishnava Sabha. And he gave some new bottle, but same wine. <laughs> <laughs> new bottle. And the new bottle was the name of that Krishna consciousness. <coughs> but for intelligent person, it is the same wine, but in new bottle. Some are now deviated, deviated. And they don't want to accept this theory. But I think that they are not intelligent. <laughs> Krishna movement is eternal, you should know. Not new anything. I think this Krishna consciousness is eternal. His followers are also eternal. Third class Bhogas, Kanishtadikari is not a member of this. Only they are doing something. But really, all the liberated souls are members of this. So, 
If you will be like Bhakti Manohar Thakur, Srila Prabhupada and Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj, our Guru, then we will be members. Otherwise, like simple uh, Chaukidar, you know. <laughs> Chaukidar. Okay. Like dogs sitting on the gate. Something. Actually, we will remember at that time of this, this Vishnura Shava, Ilyas Krishna consciousness. And that is Krishna consciousness as it is. Anyone has, the Chaukar has no, no power to reject anyone. Never. Then? The mind contains hundreds and thousands of impressions, not only of this life, but also of many, many lives of the past. How? Anyone can no. uh, explain how? Mind has? Huh? Mm -hmm. Hundreds and thousands of impressions. How? <coughs> Anyone? You? Who oh, are you? The mind. Excellent, excellent impression I'm going on. What you are thinking? I will beat that person. It's a very wicked person. I'm loving him. Some affection to anyone. Some opposite mood to anyone. Sometimes abusing anyone. All are becoming the impression in your mind. And you will have to taste it. Lacks and lacks, but only for a moment impressions. <coughs> Understand this? Mm. Mm. Clearly or not? Yes. In your word you can tell. That, um, your age is like mm. 60 or 50. But how many impressions you have kept in your mind? You know? Mm. Uh, Unlimited. If anyone can count. And you will have to Test all these impressions in lakhs and lakhs coat is one. Mm -hmm. You have killed an ant when you are passing <coughs> on a way. Will it come in like impression or not? Mm. Unwillingly or willingly, you are going apart. And so many chance ants were there. And you kept unwillingly your foot there with but shoes, very hard shoes. And among them, about 100 ants died. And you never cared, but impression will come. <coughs> willingly or willingly you are doing. How? You are, your son is keeping his hand in fire unwillingly, he does not know that it is fire, it will burn. But if he keeps hand, fire will burn or not? If it is done unwillingly? <laughs> if you are keeping <coughs> some kiroshan oil, you know kiroshan oil? Kiroshan oil. Here, 18. There will be some smell or not? Unwillingly it is kept, or willingly. It has some uh, but mm. bad smell. Smell. Bad smell. Bad smell. So you are doing anything unwillingly or willingly, <coughs> you have to test. It will come in pressure. A bull came and he wanted to take on his horn and he made some pain to your body. You took a very big stick and get him three, four danda. Will it be impression or not? Can you tell? Huh? It will be. Bull will have no impression because he is in fruit heavy. What? Fruitable active, karmajoni. Karmajoni that is. Not active to Yoni. They are suffering their karma. Mm. They are suffering. 
So he is suffering. If he will take you like this, it is your past tense impression. If you are silent, thinking that, oh, he has done for my past activities. Mm. I should decide. Then okay. Mm. And if you are doing danda again, Generally then new impression. Mm. And that bull will become like a man and he will have to. Mm. If you are taking place of any cow, mm. the cow will be man. <coughs> and you will have to cow for so many births. And he will take place place again. <coughs> so these are impressions of lack and lack for us times. And also for these also. We are making so many impressions. Don't try to make any bad impression. What impression? <coughs> Always chant, remember Krishna. If anyone disturbing, no harm, like Haridas Thakur. He was strong enough that he could have rejected, <coughs> that he could not uh, um, bite him in twenty two <coughs> markets. <coughs> if he has prayed to Krishna or nothing, <coughs> he was Brahma. Yeah. Hmm? He could have resisted. Yeah. And here can by by course he has destroyed that Muslims who are dead. But he could not. He did not. So, always chant and remember. Especially we will tell, Swamiji is explaining that. In our last days, at the time of death, what you will remember, chant, you will be liberated from. Otherwise, if you are whole life you have chanted, but at the time of death, you are remembering any prostitute or any bad thing, then you will have to go there. Be very careful. <coughs> These impressions sometimes come in contact with one another and produce contradictory pictures. What is the meaning? <laughs> like a dream. <clears throat> In a dream, you may have a... But this life? This life and previous life? No, no. What is it? Uh, these impressions sometimes come in contact with one another and produce contradictory pictures. How? In this life. Can any... No. What? You may be performing pious activities, impious or spiritual activities and... By nature, they are contradictory and complicated. Take like example. I, I might plant some trees, give some charity, but then I might do something sinful, and perhaps I might come into good association and do something <coughs> spiritual, so my mind is not missed, is not fixed. I'm involved in so many contradictory things. You have so many past times you have done. Uh, you have done so many things, like bad activities and good act activities. If they are coming in the same time in this life, you will be confused. And you will be in doubt that what should I do? <coughs> you saw a very beautiful lady, or lady saw a very beautiful male. And he was at first attracted, but he has any good wife, just wife. <coughs> He's thinking, what to do? These two feelings are coming from past activities, impressions. And he is now deciding what to do. I should have attachment with this new lady and give up my old lady, my wife, what should I do? But this is so beautiful. My first wife is somewhat uh, Aged, aged, <laughs> is not so. So what should I do? But this lady is very young, very beautiful, very sweet. What to do? She becomes in there. It may be that four, five, six, so many 
at a time impression will come what to do but what impression is so strong it will defeat all wife tells that you should go to krishna consciousness other i otherwise i will take my <laughs> So you should select whether you should go in Krishna consciousness, chanting, remembering. And why people tell him that you should take place, eggs, meat, and be enjoy with me. And if you are not coming to me, and if you are going to be pure devotee, I will take at once poison, and I will give poison to my all girls and. part i should do <laughs> <laughs> these are all impression due to past activities they may come 1 2 3 4 5 at a time and at that time it is very hard big problem any devotee can share so we should try to do that. to go in a association any group realize so They will solve it in a very like this, like Narad Swar solved a hunter. Hunter was entering in a uh, hunter was there in a very big forest, and he has bow and arrow with poison, and he used to shoot one deer, and he was being shot by shot. Half day, only rolling down. A bear, he saw Narad. He was going. <coughs> he half day, and he also suffering, suffering so much, and doing chat for chat. Restless, restless. And then he crossed that thing. He saw another, any deer or any bird. He saw some birds that they were also flapping. Lost, he came nearer to that hunter. Hunter came with his bow and arrow, and he told Narad, "Why you came in this way? And we are disturbed by by all shikar, shikar theory, right? 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 Understanding? By all this." To whom I am to ma- am, they are now going Why here and there, ready, and you are disturbed. I will kill you. <coughs> It told that you cannot kill. You have no power to kill. You have no power to sh- touch even. She towards you, and he took some um, drops of his water from his pot, and he. Lacks and lacks. These animals are ready to kill me. They are killing me, and again I am taking birth, and again they are, and they are in a row, lacks and lacks, <laughs> waiting. waiting. He comes again, and he was rolling down on the earth. Again he took some water and sprinkled. He became in novice. Sense. Sense. And he fell flat on the lotus feet of Narada. Save me, save me, save me! He told that they broke your arrows and then what I will do? How I will maintain life? Or oh, don't care for it? In whose quantity all thing will come? Only take some. But first you should. And in a moment he changed, and he got changed, and he became very big saint. After some days, Parvatrishi and Narad was returning from the same way, and he now became so pious that he used to wash the way to do pranam to Narad Rishi. 
Whatever state of being one remembers, when he quits his body, that state he will attain without fail. At the time of death, the mind and intelligence of a living entity create the subtle form of a certain yeah, type what, of body. What, 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 what? For the next life, if the mind suddenly thinks of something not very congenial, one has to take a corresponding birth in the next life. On the other hand, if one can think of Krishna at the time of death, he can be transferred to the spiritual world, Goloka Vrindavan. Any example for both? <laughs> for what? Becoming a deer. Yes. We are thinking of this. So if you will think of Krishna and Krishna associate, certainly you will be like that. Any extents? Example? So many sutis have been like that. Suti means way. There is not a book, not a only piece of paper. Srimad Bhagavat is not a piece of paper. Gita is not a piece of paper. But without that we cannot see because we are blind. Mortal. For Srimad Bhagavat, Gita and all Vedas are mortal, immortal like Krishna. So we cannot see that. His teachings are important. So uh, we cannot realize all this. Only we can realize by cultivating all this, all activities to please Krishna. And then it will come in the stage of how, then we can realize a little. So we should try to develop our Krishna consciousness. Sadhan. Go on. This process of transmigration is very so subtle. So Ved, Sutis, Man, Dik and Gopi. Dandakaranya, Rishis, Dik and Gopi, because they were thinking like this. From very beginning, they were thinking, thinking, at last in the last stage that the day of the time of death, they thought like this and this. There are so many laps and laps. So if you are always thinking, remembering, like gopis, like Sridham Shubal, you will be like that. Don't remember alone Krishna. Then you will be annihilated in Brahma then it will go against. So this is. Remember Krishna with his associate, especially more bending towards associates. This is. Try to uh, realize this fact. We should chant, remember whom? Who are serving Krishna? 
more than Krishna. Like for we will, if we want to love Krishna like mother and father, we will have to be like to follow Nanda and Jasoda. And Krishna like his son. And if in the, at the time of death we are doing so, then we will be this servant of Nanda and Jasoda like mother and father, and we will serve Krishna. If you want to serve like gopis, then you will have to think like that. You will have to do like them, how to serve them. You will have to be expert in this life for all these things. And gradually thinking gopis with Krishna, how they are serving Krishna, and at the time of death, you are in life. Remember, you will be the second of That's it. This is the hidden secret. Somebody has not told all things, but he has told him. Unlinked from This is like Sutra. Go on. Therefore, Srila Rupa Goswami advises devotees to train their minds in order that they will be you unable... You should not all these things in your heart if you want to advance. And if you are advancing, only worldly desire, only in thinking of that. You are not following Swamiji. You have to develop all that. In this way, gradually, gradually, giving them coming in this. In order that they will be unable to remember anything other than Krishna. Similarly, the this process of transmigration. This process of transmigration is very subtle. Now, shuttle means here, yeah. so, 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 so. we'll have to take this process. Don't always go on outwardly thinking and adopting artificial and all these things. Outward, very going to. Otherwise, you cannot understand all <coughs> Go on. Therefore, Srila Rupa Goswami advises devotees to train their minds in order that they will be unable to remember anything other than Krishna. He is telling that you should remember half all these things and half that. What he is telling? <laughs> if anyone is not doing like that and remembering half, more than half these bodily things, even a sannyasi can go down. He is bound to go. And if being a grihast, but gradually developing all these things, he will go up. <laughs> Similarly, the tongue should be trained to speak only of Krishna and, and to taste only Krishna Prasad. Srila Rupa Goswami... He is telling that even at that time you should do all these outwardly things, make a garden, make all these things. In first stage he has told, only to make some impression. But in these advanced stages, what he is telling? Swami is telling what I am telling. And what I am telling, he is telling the same thing. <coughs> no difference at all. But how they are discovering differences, I don't know. Same thing, in the same bottle, not another new bottle, I have brought any new bottle. Same bottle, same wine, same thing. And our whole disaffliction has been there. Srila Rupa Goswami further advises Tishtan Brajay. Hmm. One should live in Vrindavan or any part of Rajabhumi. Why he is telling? To whom he is telling? To devotees or undevotees? They, why they are telling that Narayan Mahal is telling Catherine? I am telling this, huh? but not for all. Not qualified, they should be in Braja. There are no requirement of all these attractions. Gradually they will be in Vrindavan. And at last, for always in Vrindavan. Swami is not telling this? Same thing? 
Rajabhumi, or the land of Vrindavan, is supposed to be 84 kroshas in area. One krosha equals two square miles. When one makes Vrindavan his residence, he should take shelter of an advanced devotee there. Who will be there? If anyone is there. Al always is <laughs> And always is uh, searching his requirement, what leads to requirements. And he wants to fulfill his Very beautiful Raj Palace. <laughs> palace. All the facilities, like a king, they should not go there. They should not go there. Even for all the people. One need to serve, not to be served. One need to serve. Go home, a pure devotee is there. Not seeking all these worldly things there. Not quarreling. We are money we call. If there is attachment, very bad thing there. If you are doing some sad sins, it is like Bajradi. Don't do all this. You should practice here all this. And then reviving. In this way, one should always think of Krishna and his pastime. If a man, man has so much problem, oh, what to do? My wife has left me and he has gone to another. What to think of my children? How will earn my money? What to do? Always thinking of this thing and he is in Vrindavan, quarreling with others and so much diplomatic and so much all these things having, so much policy. Rajaniti, Rajaniti, politics, and how he is with that? He is not in that. But he is become doing some sins, sinful activities. This is? This is further elucidated by Srila Rupa Goswami in his Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. I will explain it tomorrow. And it is very, very good thing. I wanted to finish this slow. I will try to finish tomorrow. Anyhow, I will try to finish. Tomorrow or day after. I have only one day life here. <laughs> Today is 24, 25th, 26th, I will have to take rest. 27th in morning. But actually, I will not go. I will be in this bridge near the world, near Jamna. <laughs> I will try. I will try to come again if you will like. <laughs> and then after this we we can discuss more things. Go Prima.
assembled devotees. Amen. All glory to the assembled devotees. Amen. All glory to the assembled devotees. Amen. All glories to Sri Guru and Sri Gauranga. So it can be attended only by being the lotus feet of Siddhartha. Ad dana stirnam dantai ridam jache puna puna taking a dry broth within our teeth dantai ridam jache puna puna taking anything here right and holding that unconditionally thoroughly completely and devoted by offering all self in the lotus feet of his eighth nature of instructions we will explain <coughs> silarup goswami in his bhakti rasamit sindhu told what krishnam krishnam smaran krishnam smaram janam chasya he has told that in the men eslok tishthana braje to always be in vrindavan but it will not do only in the guidance of vaishnav If you are in guidance of Vaishnav, always hearing, obeying him as a guideline, always being in Vrindavan, something is more needed. But Tanna Marupa Chaitadi, always chanting his name by Tan, and what thing more? All the past times of Krishna related to that name. What name? Like Damodar. When you are calling Damodar name, then you should remember the past times of two kinds of Damodar: the Sudha Damodar and Radha Damodar. They are not one. How Simati Jasoda binded Krishna, unlimited Krishna. How he is visiting? Now, Srimati Gopis threaten with Srimati Radhika's well that he cannot go here and there. He cannot go from Ras. That is how he became Radha Damodar. When you are chanting Krishna name, what do you should? You should remember. The past times related to Krishna. How he attracted peacocks 
Coquilles, coquilles de manhã. Coquilles. Look over. Deers. Almost all the creepers, trees, rivers, mountains, go, gopi, cow, how he chant, which is sweat voice and float. So remember with this chant Hare Krishna, but in mind what will be there? Where I am going in this world? how to control this situation. No, no, never. Never. Always remember the past times of Krishna. And you should chant Hare Krishna. How? There is some process. That process is to gradually a high class of devotees can remember this. Remember and chant the Krishna in a life process. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Eyes are closed. Mind is concentrated. Automatically, a, a past time of Krishna came. Krishna was in Keshi Ghat in Vrindavan. Flying with legs and legs, cows and covered voice. <coughs> Playing on forts and singa, <coughs> doing so many activities, sometimes like monkeys, having a tail of any monkey, Hanuman, when they catch hold of the tail of any big Hanuman, he jumped from this tree to this tree. And that tightened horribly, and they, he also goes from here to there. And all are clapping and laughing. <laughs> so in so many ways, sometimes they are making joke like uh, Medhak. Tortoise. Huh? Tortoise. Frog. Frogs. You. <laughs> Not to us. All on the always here. I know why. Because you have Pitambar, very and you have sweet Bansi, peacock feather here. So anyone can take Tarver to Vaishnava. They went to a town. One made his hosting under a banyan tree. Near that banyan tree, a prostitute, prostitute, prostitute used to live there. On a second story of a very beautiful building. And another Vaishnava he went and he was hosting in a temple in the middle of that town. This Vaishnava, who was living near prostitute, he was thinking in, in one mood, and in temple, thinking in another. He was thinking, who was living in temple, that uh, that Vaishnava is there. Mm. 
faced with prostitutes. No? And he was saying that so many persons are coming and going. And this Vaishnava being with prostitute nearby, he was thinking that, oh, I am so full, unfortunate that I could not live in the temple. He is so fortunate that he is always living in, with duties, doing kirtan and chanting and remembering. He is thinking of that Vaishnava and thinking that he is so fortunate. And that Vaishnava, always thinking of that prostitute and that criticizing him. I'm so lucky that I'm in temple and he's a wretched person, he's there. Always thinking and criticizing. In the meantime, the time of death came. Who was in temple? He saw that three very dangerous shape, they are coming to them. So, who are you? We are dead. We are Yamadut. We have come to take you. Oh, I am not that, I, he is there. <laughs> I am not that person. <laughs> because that he is always with that priesthood is thinking like that, I am so holy person, I am in temple. No, no, no. We know all these things and practice. Especially we have come for you. And then where will you take me? In Swarga? No, no, we will take you to the bad quality of most wretched place you will take you and punish for you. You are always thinking and criticizing, but he is like Sadhu, he is always thinking of you. Holy name and name. So, my instruction is of Rupa Goswami that never criticize anyone. If he is doing bad, he is doing bad for him. But we should not criticize anyone. If you criticize anyone that this is wrong, this is this, this fellow is very bad, then all these qualities will come in you. And Jami will come first to you to punish you. Always try to remember the good qualities also of Vaishnavas. Of Krishna, hearing and chanting and remembering. I have heard from any, anywhere that my disciples, they criticize the school leaders and others. I don't want Whether they are a scorn or not, they are out of any cost and creed. They are bad. Even you should not criticize. Try to always remember and to glorify devotees. This is good way. So Rukhu Swami has told all these things and Swamiji has also told. So you should be careful for this. Now we are going. So much is to tell. Begin from where? From 75 pace. Last Estanya. Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur has commented as follows upon this verse. One who has not yet... What was the last uh, teaching of Srila Rupa Goswami that Swamiji explained Seva Sadhak Rupena Siddha Rupena? Can you tell? Seva Sadhak Rupena Siddha The meaning of Shevas, Sadhak Rupena Siddha. You can tell anything. Goswami has done Shavan. 
always remembering chanting. chanting. Sankhya Purvaknam Dham. These are outwardly sadhan. So what sadhan Rupa Goswami has done in the shape of sadhak, we should try to take it. And Siddha Rupena, what? What is the meaning of Siddha Rupena? As like um, Raghunath Das and Vila Krishnamurti is writing something. What? Any <laughs> slog? Sri Rupamandri to the Chitrapada Very good. Another? Another slog? Tambular Panapada Maradam. You remember? Huh? Ah. Other? This slog. First a slope, like Siddha. In Siddha you should that see that Rup Manjari, Rup Goswami, what we see in Sadhak Rup. Now in Siddha Rup he is always serving Srimati Radhika. Tambularpan, giving betterness. Padamardhan, message. Helping him, helping Radhika to me, Krishna. By all means, he is the expert. Like Nikunja Juno Ratike Lishidde Jajali Rebejupi Rapechan. Like this. Patrati Daksha Dati Balla Vasha Bande Goshi. This is Siddha Sheva of Kurudev. And what is external? <coughs> Second day slow, what of Guru Kurvasta? Mahaprabhu Kirtana Nitya This is out of, but as a sadhak rupena. And Guru Devi in Siddha rupena? Nikunja Juno Ratike These are. So, sadhak rupena, Rupa Goswami, first was doing in, in shape of Rupa Goswami like sadhak. Gurudev, like Sadak, Samadhan Kirtanam and doing all this. And in, internally, that Rupa Goswami is not Rupa, he is Raghunath Das Goswami, he is in Dera Siddha. And then, and after that, they are, what they are uh, doing? Sri Rupa Manjari Padat Pad Padma. Gostendranandana Gujar Pita Mastigaya Hash Modata Konaka Gauri Padara Binda Shambahanani Shana Kais Tabakin Karish. Like when a devil come, like a Rukmanjari, will call me and order me to do this. When, when Radha and Krishna both are tired. And Vandavan walking here and there. Radhika is more soft, so is more quiet. She has given her head in the laps of Krishna and feet in the lap of Rukmanjari. Krishna is gently being and sometimes with Tambar he is washing the out of the material. Very effective. And Rupmanjari massaging very gently, softly and sweetly the face of Srimati Nearby, Rati Manjari is spent. And he is fine. She is fine. Getting chamar. Rupmanjari called by his Provides. Come on, come on. I will give you a remnant maha 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 prasad. <laughs> you should take this faith, you should gently miss it. I'm going to bring water, very beautiful water, because they are thirsty. Telling this, Rati Manjari came and he, she took that thing. So when I will have a day, to see and to serve like this, when Rupa Goswami, Rati Goswami, they will give me this remnant of this Maha 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 Prasad. 
This is Shiddha Rupena. So he is telling Shiddha Rupena, Chatrahi, Tadbhav, Lipsuna, those who are, have some, even a little, what? Desire. Loka kya? Anything. That's what you mean like this. Braja Loka Nusharata. What is the meaning of Braja Loka Nusharata? You should follow. Like Braja. How? How Braja Loka Nusharata? Can you explain? How his dear um, devotees in Vrindavan are serving him. Like? Like, Any example? Like uh, Radharani and the gopis, like Rupa Manjuri, Rati Manjuri, Lavanga Manjuri. No, not just that. <coughs> Brajloka Nusharataha. Rupa Sami Sanatan Goswami at Brajbashi. They are forming a kadasi, observing a kadasi. There are so many persons who don't observe a kadasi. But Rupa Goswami? They are telling that we are falling gopis and gopis, but actually they are not falling. Because we heard that Nanda Baba, Yasoda, and all the boys, they went to Mathura on Ambika Kanan and they were observing Ekadushi. <coughs> but some Nimbak Sampradayi or other Radha Ballavi, they tell that we have nothing to do like this. So Prajaloka Nusarata, that Rup Goswami, Sanatan Goswami, Raghunath Das Goswami, or all disciplic acharyas are Brajabhasi. We should follow them. They never worshipped Rukmini Raman. Brajaloka Nusarata, not like Dwarka, not like Puri, not like every, all other places. Like in Bandavan, Brajaloka Nusarata. What Rupa Goswami has done, we will have to follow. We will not follow to Rupa Manjari, Rati Manjari, outwardly. In a Siddha Bhav, we can follow by mind. We can have wishes like this. But we will have to follow and practice. If you are following Rupani Raman, Jagannath Balram Subhadra, they have done. They have prayed only for their mercy. So we can pray for their mercy. But actually, there should be no two, three, four, five Easter Day. Easter Day we know. Only Krishna and Radhika should be in our heart. We only want to serve them as a Easter Day. But we will honor all. We will honor Sri Gopiswar Mahadev. No harm. We can honor Hanuman, no harm. We can honor Jag Balram, Jagannath, Subhadra, because they are uh, same as Krishna, Tattvataha. But we can take only Simati Radhika and Krishna in our heart. Lalita, Vishakha, all the associates of Krishna, Giraj, Govardhan, no harm, Jamna, no harm. But Jamuna Maya is harm, very harmful. Jamuna Maya cannot go in Braja, but Sakhi Jamuna you can go. You should think very deeply. Radhika Maya will not go in Braja. Then Radhika Maya is Rukmini. But Rahu is Sivati Radhika, beloved of is married to Krishna? No need of marriage. More than all this. So, if anything want, Giraj is there to give everything. Not to Ganesh, not to anyone. Nothing behind. Only Radha Krishna. We should not. Uh, want anything from Krishna because he is loved, beloved. And Krishna is Malli Nandanandan, Jasodanandan and Radha Kanta. 
It is not Ishwar that he can fulfill your desires. Understand? <coughs> Krishna is not their Ishwar. Not like a god or demigod. A supreme personality of Godhead, not in Vrindavan prayer. What is? He is only son of Yashoda. Controlled by Yashoda. He is Radha Kanta. No. If gopis have to ask something, they will go to the Raja Bhavata. Nand Baba will worship Salagram and tell that my boy should be always happy. My son should be always happy. So this mood should come. This is Braja Loka Anusharataha. What Brajabhasi like Rupa and Sanatan have done for Sadhan Bhajan, we should only accept. Don't go beyond them, that I am generous more than Rupa and Sanatan. No? So we will have to know what Rupa Goswami, Sanatan Goswami, all Sad Goswami, or all Acharyas have done, and how to follow. You will have to know. And if you are not knowing by any good Vaishnava, more superior than us, we don't have this thing. Because everything is in my Guru book, what he has written. Understand? My Guru Deva has written everything in my book. So you should not read anything, he has everything. Then first, why Vyas create, publish so many books? And if Vyas has done, then why? Is Rupa Goswami wrote so many books, and if Rupa Goswami has written everything, then why G. Goswami compiled so many books? Why Vishwana chapter 30 done? Did? Why Bhakti Minot Thakur wrote so many books, 100 books? Why? And everything has been done before that, why Swamiji has done so many hundred of books? And I think that if he was here in this world, he has written so many books. Krishna glory cannot be counted. She is uncontrolled. Hmm? So, if they have, I think it is true that he has given everything in his books, but to understand his, this, his books, so, some explanation should be there. So, Swamiji has not made any uh, book special. He has only given explanation of Chaitanya Charitamrit, Srimad Bhagavatam, Gita, never new thing. So, if any Acharya will come, very powerful, he may write so many books, things, Every, everything, though, is here. But sometimes the truth are covered by ignorance, by Kali. So, to clear all these things, they come to explain. What is the stage of now, Bartaman? Present. So many new, new questions are coming in the minds of Kali Yugi person. So to explain all this truth, they have to make so many books. <coughs> then, Braja Loka Anusarataha. We will have to do all our functions. Cultivate our all activities like Braja. Braja means all are not Brajbashi in Vrindavan. There are some Reksha Pulat having knife. In knife, you, they will take in, your, in their Reksha and in the midway they will cut and look all. They are not Brajbashi. The Pandas always want money, they are not Brajbashi. In Brajbashi, some rare can be pan real Brajabhasis, not all. So Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Shri Prabhupada. Actually they are Brajabhasis, because Swamiji has told anywhere that my home is in Vrindavan, office in Bombay, and my practice is in So his home is Vrindavan, so he is Brajabhasis. No? We should try to follow his internal modes, Oh, some are telling that Narayan Maharaj is <coughs> defining him, not glorifying. 
What will be more glory than this? I'm telling you. I think that never anyone can glorify Swamiji like this. Oh, then, Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Shiva Bhakti Siddhartha Saraswati Thakur has commented as follows upon this verse. Mm. One who has not yet developed an interest in Krishna consciousness should give up all material motives and train his mind by following the progressive regulative principles, namely chanting and remembering Krishna. He has told us that give up all material motives. Are we doing? Those who are not doing, it means they are not following actually. Some are doing little, then we may tell that um, some... Those who are following actually all these things, they are his school. Otherwise not his school. I can tell this strongly. We should try to follow him, obey him, not only by words, but by hearts. By chanting and remembering Krishna and his name, form, quality, pastimes, and so forth. In this way, after developing a taste for such things, one should try to live in Vrindavan and pass his time constantly remembering Krishna's name, fame, pastimes, and qualities under the direction and protection of an expert devotee. This is more, more a special thing. Uh, and protection of an expert devotee. You are living in Vrindavan, chanting, remember it. But you are not taking any association with this expert devotee. Then what is this? Like heroes without a one. What I told you? Zero be right one means? If it is ten, if you oh. so one, then there is in zero. Mm. All the practice like zero, zero, zero. But Krishna consciousness is not there. Then all the efforts are like zero. So you are doing chanting, remembering all this, but not in the protection of an expert devotee. Then all the things. If you are thinking, I am expert, Rupa Goswami has not told that this. Then. This is the sum and substance of all instruction regarding the cultivation of devotional service. After that he is explaining something. He has told sub and something. But still he wants to explain. What is this? In the neophyte stage, one should always engage in hearing Krishna Kata. Mm. This is called Shravan Dasa, mm. the stage of hearing. Mm. By constantly hearing the transcendental mm. holy name of Krishna and hearing of his transcendental form, qualities, and pastimes. What is this pastimes? What is this pastimes? We are not. Uh, mm, but qualified to hear Krishna Katha, if anyone does hear. What is the past times? And he has written Krishna book. All past times are there. For whom he has written Krishna Katha, Krishna book? For whom? For all who are neophyte. Who are new neophyte? And in his, by chanting and 50 years. I am new, new fight or old? old. No. <laughs> <laughs> if we have not advanced our Krishna consciousness to that stage, to Uttam Adhikari or Madhyam Adhikari, <coughs> you are all new fight. Huh? Only telling will not prove. The stage should be there. So he is telling for new fights for all that we should yeah, hearing 
to summon Dasha first. Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur has this, explained all these five things in the last of Jaiva Dharma. Very vividly this. For advanced devotees, and he is telling new five, then what is the difference? Any difference? No difference. Same thing. You will have to reconcile all these things. If you cannot reconcile, then you are bogus. <laughs> you should try to be initiation, initiation association of a good devotees. Hearing Krishna Kata past times, what he has written in book, what has been written in Chaitanya Chaitamri, what has been explained in Srimad Bhagavatam, 10th Kato, Kanto, all these things. What is the qualification? Only qualification is honor in Guru Vakra, in Krishna Vakra, Shastra Vakra. If you have honor and to develop your Krishna Kata, you are qualified for this. <coughs> Then one can attain to the stage of acceptance called Varana Dasha. Varana Dasha means? Yes, sir. Go on. When one attains this stage. What is stage? Varana Dasha. Varana means to decide to take anything properly. Hearing anything. We will decide and cultivate what we have heard. I should do this, I should do this, I should be like this. To decide and to work at on the same point is Varam Dasha. Gurudev tells you should chant one lakh Harina. Remember all this. I heard and I could not follow that he has not come in Parandasha. But actually he is doing then he has in Parandasha. Now he will explain. When one attains this stage, he becomes attached to the hearing of Krishna Kata. Parandasha, mm -hmm. now he has some attached to hear that. He will have some <coughs> taste in that. When one is able to chant in ecstasy, he attains the stage of smarana vaksta, mm. the stage of remembering. Mm. Recollection, absorption, meditation, constant remembrance, and trance are the five items of progressive Krishna smarana. Mm. At first, remembrance of Krishna may be interrupted at intervals. But later, remembrance proceeds uninterrupted. <coughs> when remembrance is uninterrupted, it becomes concentrated and is called meditation. When meditation expands and becomes constant, it is called anusmriti. <coughs> By uninterrupted and unceasing anusmriti, one enters the stage of samadhi. <coughs> or spiritual trance. Mm. After smarandasa, <coughs> or samadhi, has fully developed, the soul comes to understand his original constitutional position. Mm. This is Swarup Siddhi. Mm. Then? At that time, he can perfectly and clearly understand his eternal relationship with Krishna. Mm. That is called Sampasidasa, the perfection of life. Has Swamiji warned that you should not go through this <coughs> five? Five, he has told that you should not hear all these things. He has told that bhakti is like a river current. We should try to develop Shaman Dasha, Varam Dasha, then Shmaran Dasha. Then apan, bhavapan dasha, 
and then somebody does that. Oh, we, we are not qualified for this. Certainly you are not qualified. But those who are qualified, why you are taking his fish, dragging, pulling? Why? Have you any but reason or power to do this? You have no right to do this? They want some ones to control all others. You are not qualified to hear this. You are not qualified to um, thinking of anything about gopis. Not Braja. Only do this, that, that, control it. Swamiji has not controlled all this. This has free freedom he has given to go through all this. His order is to do like this. And if anyone not, not following him, obeying him, this is his weakness. So, truly obeying him is to follow all these things. This is way uh, established by Rupa Goswami and certified by all of our <coughs> Goswamis up to Swamiji. Go on. Chaitanya Charitamrita advises those who are neophytes to give up all kinds of motivated desires and simply engage... In what stage we can give up all our desires? When we are beginning, there is no nishtha, desires are there. But when nishtha comes, so many desires go. But even so many. When ruchi comes, Still there are some, but I think that 75 have is gone, person. In this stage of our Shakti, almost all kinds of anath has been removed, but still there are some. In this stage of bhav, all has been gone, but a smell is there. That a smell can bring anyone again. But when Krishna is seen and Prem is there, totally that smell also goes away. And he can never can fall. Chitraketu Maharaj, Bharat Maharaj, Jai Vijay are example for this. They were not uh, uh, condition so only to show us for example they have said examples like that even they were in the mood of bhav and a smell of anath was there and that is why with a smell he treated that deer, deer like his deer and he was attached and for three but she went down. But we will go where? For nowhere. Never we will return. Because they were realized so. They have gone up to bhav. That is why they returned up only after three bus. But we cannot. So to show to set examples. They took this stage <coughs> that they are fallen. Actually, they are not not fallen. We should not take them. But we may fall. So we should be very careful. Hmm. So even up to the stage of how there are... But we should further go on. If we are not qualified, oh, we are not in Nishtha. Don't think. Try to develop. Try to follow all the orders of our Rupa Swami, line of Rupa Swami, line of our Swami. Hmm. One should give up all kinds of motivated desires and simply engage in the regulative devotional service of the Lord. What is regulative? Bhakti. 
We have no uh, desire actually naturally to serve. But we know the, uh, we have realized the sufferings and sorrows of this world. And we know, have this Shraddha that by serving Krishna we can go up, out of these things. So we are doing it. Then regulating. Uh, following the regulations and rules. Regulating. Mm. According to the directions of scripture, in this way a neophyte can gradually develop attachment for Krishna's name, fame, form, qualities, and so forth. Mm. When one has developed such attachment, he can spontaneously serve the lotus feet of Krishna even without following the regulative principle. Mm. This stage is called Raganuga, Raga Bhakti. What is telling? What is? Anyone can explain this line? He can spontaneously suck the lotus feet of Krishna even without following the regulative principles. But he doesn't have to hear from Shastra that he should serve Krishna. No, no, he must. No, he doesn't have to hear, but he spontaneously from the heart he wants to serve. There are some rules and regulations he can omit. Only this. What regulations? Which are not helpful for a spontaneous service of Krishna. This, this stage is called Raga Bhakti. I don't think that I am not understanding why he has written this Araganuga Bhakti for devotees. Why? <laughs> <laughs> then we should take him out of Krishna consciousness and he's gone. <laughs> yes, I will have a proposal, TBC. That first take him out of his cone and then to me. Because I am following him, he had told first, and I am telling Mali, he is, I am repeating Mali, so I am not so much culprit as funny he was. <laughs> No, <laughs> he is not culprit. <laughs> he is Guru Tattva. He is like Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami. He has done marvelous marks that you should follow all these things. You should not criticize him. Anyone should not be criticized. This stage is called Raganuga Bhakti or devotional service in spontaneous love. I think that most grievance is that I am selling Raganuga Bhakti sometimes. But you can understand that I have given classes here two times daily for 10 days, uh, 12 days here. What I have told, what they are delegating me. Absolutely. At that stage, a devotee can follow in the footsteps of one of the eternal associates of Krishna in Vrindavan. This is called Raganuga Bhakti. Mm. What is Raganuga Bhakti? Is for whom he is writing? Hmm? For everyone? Everyone who wants to serve Radha and Krishna. And those who don't want to serve Radha Krishna for them, it is not applicable. So I think that all the devotees who have left their houses or anything, they have gone to Swamiji. Swamiji will want that they should follow this. But if they are not qualified to follow, then you should follow this. Raganuga Bhakti, or spontaneous devotional service, can be executed in the Shantaras when one aspires to be like Krishna's cows, or a stick or flute in the hand of Krishna, or the flowers around Krishna's neck. It is all right. This is correct. But uh, 
will have to reconcile this. In Braja, Rupa Goswami is telling no Santras. But if there is no Santras, then some, something lacking in Braja. So there is some Santras, but we cannot say that the creepers to whom Krishna is touching, they become and some uh, lajaya, like beloved. They love Krishna like beloved. These creepers, <coughs> the trees, like the friends of Krishna. Cows like mother. They want to serve Krishna like mother. The calf like brothers. Krishna around his neck, their necks. All so much impression. Hmm? When Krishna is picking flowers from creepers, mm -hmm. they become so ashamed, like blabber touched us oh. in Vrindavan. Flute, she is not in Shantas. Gopis have so much envy for Bansi that. This is always kissing Krishna, and Krishna is always Krishna. If there is no Bansi, take Bansi from Braj, from Braj, then what happens? Like Dwarka. Krishna has no floating in Dwarka. He telling that for whom I will take Bansi from Braj to Dwarka? I have to control Gopi, so I need this. <laughs> but. I will go to Barka and I will tell them, oh, you should go out my way. And by saying this, there will be control. No use of Bansi. No use that I should fell flat on the fits of Dwarka running. No need at all. Only my words will do. Oh, they will see my eyes, my mouth, like this, and they will care for then we control that one. But in Braja, Krishna is doing so many things to please gopis. And gopis are telling like last night, oh, go away from all. Don't let Krishna come to Srimati no. This is Braja. This is Ragatmika Bhakti. Those who are following, this is called so here and from the coughs, cows, Krishna Bansi float, is the sticks, any of anyone are not of Shantaras in prayer. All are like friends, beloved, mother, father, friends, like this. But it is at this, stated in Rupa Swami book, like Swamiji has written here. Or ordinary person, they have no taste in all these things. Shantaras is ek tarpa. Ek tarpa means? One side. Eh? One, side. One side. Like a tree is there. And if Krishna is not going under the shade of that tree, that tree cannot serve. So Krishna will go under that tree, take some fruits, he will taste the shadow of that tree, then they are serving, otherwise they cannot serve. Those, so it is one tarpa, one side. By the side of Krishna he is taking, but they are not qualified to serve Krishna actually. This is called Sandra. But in Braja, when any tree see Krishna, oh, the branches go. Full of flowers, manjaris, and fruits. They can go, they can advance their hands up towards Krishna. And they will fruit like sometimes beloved creepers and trees like friends. 
and they will test so many things. Giriraj Mountain, present that he is in Shantarasa, but we cannot think like this. So, we will have to but reconcile all these things. Go on. In this thing, so much, but affection and love is in creepers also. When you see Krishna, manjari, nimbi, manjari, green lips, they become happy, smiling by flowers. They are doing like this, come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> they are not of some. If in this is so pleasant, mood of love, then what to tell us? Sakharas, Barsalaras, and other. So there is a taste, if anyone has a very little green greed to taste all these things. This are the of Krishna. This is how to enter in. Anyone cannot control him by any rules and regulations. No? In the Dasharas, one follows in the footsteps of servants like Chitraka, Patraka, or Rakshaka. If any, anyone hear that, if anyone wants to serve Krishna like Dash, he has named, written the name of Chitra, Patraka, and and when you have to ask anyone that who are they? Anything about them in any Shastra, where, from where he is writing? It is, uh, what? It is okay or not? <coughs> if he is telling Swamiji, a curiosity will come that what service they have done to Krishna and who are they? If there is no inquiry, then it means that you are not attached to this. So, if Swamiji has written any prayer that Raga Anuga Bhakti, then, oh Prabhuji, what is Raga Anuga? I have not heard. But Swamiji has written here. <coughs> Will there be an inquiry or not? And if inquiry is coming, then his sajiya or anything. <laughs> Don't think like that. We'll try to understand the writings of Swami. This is the duty of any good bona fide disciple. So many inquiries will come. <coughs> no. No. Don't. In the friendly Sakyaras, one can become a friend like Baladev, Sri Dhamma, or Sri Dhamma. In the Vat Sakyaras, characterized by... Why he has not told one? He has told three, four, five, six, five? Because the modes of Baladev Prabhu is not like Subha, not like Madhubangal, not like Ujjwal, Sri Dhamma, different modes. The Sakhas are of five kinds, so he has written like this. Otherwise, he has written only one Baldev. But Baldev is the elder brother of Krishna. Everything is not manifested here. So he has written so many things. <coughs> Everything very deeply. If you go deeply, then you are full of <laughs> love and affection. It will touch your hearts. Then you will have some interest in this. Oh. In the Vatsalyaras, characterized by parental affection, one can become like Nanda Maharaj and Yashoda. Oh, one thing Swamiji has perhaps done, perhaps he has done wrong. <laughs> Why he did not take the name of his actual father and mother? <laughs> Who has the actual father and mother? <laughs> But he has omitted their name. Oh, I cannot be at this. <laughs> oh, I know that Swami is Maharaj's heart. 
did he has accepted that his real father and mother were? <laughs> so he's giving his them, actually. For other, those who are in very lower grade, for them, they will tell that, oh, father, man, actually, father, mother, what? Vasudeva Devaki. Only, uh, what son? Adopted. Adopted son. Any word? Uh, foster. 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 Oh, foster. Foster. He has told clearly, I don't admit this, but you will have to admit this thing. So he has given like this. Mm. And in the Madhurya Ras, characterized by conjugal love, one can become like Srimati Radharani or her lady friends, such as Lalika and her serving maids, Manjuris, like Rupa and Rati. Like three, three kinds. Not only like gopis. In, in gopis, there are so many kinds of gopis so having so many modes. Srimati Radhika mood can you, one kind of thing. Lalita Vishaka mood also, very rare, very real. For Jivas it is not there. Only her serving maids like, oh, again he has written Manjari name, very bad thing. <laughs> If I have printed this book, published, I have taken this name out of that without Mandiri as published. But I don't know who published this book. Who published? Any publisher? Or Swamiji has? Or <laughs> everything is now wrong with this name Mandiri. Don't try to hear this Mandiri name. Otherwise, you will all be Sajiya. <laughs> Go on. Our object is this Manjari. This very is the highest, very highest. Our mood be there, object will be there. But don't think that I am Manjari. Otherwise, we will be finished. We can have greed anything to. Uh, marry a princess, Elizabeth or anyone. No harm. But don't go to Elizabeth and tell that I am going to marry you. <laughs> uh, otherwise your head will be at one second. <laughs> Keep it in your heart. Mm. <laughs> go on, don't go to what to enjoy any lady and do this. And then this is the essence of all instruction oh. in the matter of devotional service. Gaur Pramani. Hari Hari. Rup Goswami ki jai. Raghunath Das Goswami ki jai. All six Goswamis ki jai. Or our <laughs> Guru Parampara ki jai. Gaur Pramani. Hari Hari. I'm satisfied to finish. All this one, very little, their questions. Also to prepare for tomorrow in morning, if before six we will start from here. I think that in the 
the duties of Nirguna Prabhu, the modern artist should be done to six that I may attend the arti and after six or just at the time of six I may travel from here. So could do it with some I can start. Some, not so much. Start but that you should finish the up to six. But as six, I will. Because it will take five hours. So I think that most of you will be in San Francisco. And there I will explain. The boyhood past and so very lovely of Krishna. So I want to be excused for that I told and I am not all in this. Go to my